it's time to go above and beyond with our series celebrating everyday heroes. Are you ready? Are you ready at home? Because we ask you to send us stories about people who've gone above and beyond in your communities. Among the many, many amazing, incredible stories we received, one stood out. It was about Chad Juros, a remarkable young man who spends his days spreading magic to cheer up children. The day Chad was born was such a wonderful, magical day for our family. He was a very sweet, kind, loving, energetic, happy-go-lucky kid. When Chad was three years old, he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It was absolutely devastating. It changed our lives forever. My dad wanted to provide Chad with a distraction so he would bring little bedside magic tricks, whether it just be a deck of cards or using sleight of hand. And my brother was really entertained by it. As soon as he was considered in remission, my father was diagnosed. The doctors came to me and they said he has brain cancer. And the dying wish was continue to spread your magic across the world in the hopes that everyone could find the magic in their life the way Chad did his. Chad started the Spread the Magic Foundation. He performs for hospitals, foundations, all over the United States. Everybody loves David Copperfield. He's like the king of magic. And since Chad was a little boy, he was always idolized him, looked up to him, wanted to be like him, that kind of thing. I am Carter Swazi. Here, give it a blow. Go. I met Chad by him coming to my birthday in my hospital room to do some magic tricks. And he asked me if I wanted to see some magic, and I was like, yes! He made me happy on a day that was probably supposed to be crappy. I had a fever. He's like my Superman. Chad, I think, is above and beyond because of his ability and his willingness to help every person that he meets. He just has this magical power over everybody. I have never seen Chad not happy. I've never seen him in a bad mood, ever. He knows the other side of life. Magic is what cured him, and magic is what keeps him alive. Wow. Such wow. an uplifting story, Sarah. How are we going above and beyond for this deserving young man? Well, Chad's friends and family really wanted to take honoring him to the next level, so we teamed up with aerial art artist John Quigley, whose art you see here, and a surprise vi visit from Chad's idol. Now, the tricky thing was getting him there, so we conjured up a pretend magic show to lure him into Bally's Hotel Casino in Atlantic City. Chad? Yes, hello. Hi. How are you? Excellent. Are you prepping for the magic I show? Am. Yes. Okay, well, I am Sarah Haynes. Hi, Sarah Haynes. And I'm from Good Morning America. Pleasure to meet you. And there's actually no magic show. There's no magic show? <laughs> what? That's the magic here. We want to take you, and we're going to handle the magic today. Okay. You just need to come with us. Okay. Right over here. And this is my mom. Come on in here. We should probably get going because we've got a lot in front of us. So let's see. Driver! Yeah, I need your seatbelts on, guys. Everyone has to put your seatbelts on, all right? What? David, what are you doing here? <laughs> How are what you? What's happening here? David, are we ready? We are. Okay, let's go. I'll give you a little privacy up there. Thank you so much. Open the crowd screens up. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Can I help you? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna let David take over here. He's gonna take you guys somewhere, and I'm gonna head to the beach, and then we'll meet up in a little bit. Okay. So let the magic continue. Come on, right this way. Okay, one body there. Only way oh, you can love. Coming. You give it all you have. Like elongate your body. And I hope that you don't suffer, but take the pain. Everyone just hold your position another 30 seconds. You've given so much to this community, and now the community wants to give back to you. Your friends have created something amazing, but you need to help me with this. If you put your hands like this, like this, and do your thing. My dad, yeah, and me. They 
love you so much. I am in complete shock. This is absolutely unbelievable. I swear I live. The image itself is powerful, but then knowing that it was created by your family and friends is even more powerful. That is so cool. I don't know about you at home, but here we were all at home. Joining us now, the magic man himself, Chad, his beautiful mother and girlfriend, and your new BFF, David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> so has it all settled in yet, Chad, that, that, that incredible? I am still in shock. It is a dream. OK, well, keep that feeling going, because, David, don't you have another surprise we for him? We do. Him? You're coming to Vegas. What? Yeah. And you come to my show at the MGM. What? All brand new stuff in the show, oh, pretty cool. I can't wait to see and it. And we're going to get a private tour of my museum, my secret oh, museum. Oh, my god. <laughs> Did you, did you hear all that? Uh, can you say it again? <laughs> Museum and show. Oh, my God. You know why this is so important to so many of us, and David in particular, because you can relate to Chad because of the foundation that you have. It's very similar. We have a program called Project Magic, which teaches magic to patients. Chad knows about it in mm -hmm. hospitals around the world, and Project Magic is pretty awesome. Right? Yeah, it is, and thank you for, for what you're doing there. And I'm no David Copperfield, but we've got something more. Come over here, Chad. Okay. I want to show you something. Now, we're going to need help from our audience on this one, so I want you to look right into uh, this monitor right okay. here. Ready, guys? Go! Wow. Do you know what that means? Have you ever uh. heard one of those sounds before? Because I know what that means. What does that mean? Well, let's see. What? What? So you can haul more people along in all your magic gear and ride in style. <laughs> what is know, happening? Don't get Ginger. I just want to let you know she is not part of this gift. <laughs> Four. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And, and you normally drive in a pretty big van, so you need room for all your gear. In a, in a mom van. And the amazing thing is, I'm now your driver for life. Oh. I'm driving you around. That is true. And I've heard good things about your driving skills. So this is it. You can haul the family. You can haul your new niece. Oh, my God. Brand new Talia. Yeah. How are you feeling? David, this get is in incredible. here. This is incredible. Are you, yeah. are you crying, so Penny? Yes, again? I've been crying. Poor Penny has never recovered from any of this. <laughs> this is amazing. This is all a dream. Thanks, David, awesome. for everything. Well, congratulations. Now, we're going to hand. So do you want to toss it to Ginger? Yes. We'll Let's do that. Should we honk one more time? Yeah! yeah. Woo! We've made it. Chad, this is pretty sweet.